Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I've got something super exciting lined up. I know you must have seen those ads for paid tools that claim to magically change your clothes and photos. Well, guess what? Today, I'm going to show you how to do it for free using Stable Diffusion with just a few clicks. Let's dive in. Before we begin, make sure you have everything set up. You'll need automatic 11.11 web UI installed for running Stable Diffusion. And then, you'll need the ControlNet extension for Automatic 11.11 installed as well. To install this extension, go to the Extensions tab in Automatic 11.11, click on the Install from URL tab, and enter the URL of the extensions page here. Click Install, and when it's complete, restart Stable Diffusion. Once you have ControlNet installed, download the OpenPose model for ControlNet and place it in the ControlNet folder in your Stable Diffusion directory. Lastly, we'll need an in-painting checkpoint model. I recommend using the Realistic Vision or Clarity in-painting model as they're very good. Download this model and place it in the checkpoint models folder in your Stable Diffusion directory. Now the fun part, let's change some clothes. Head over to the IMG2 IMG tab in Automatic 11.11, click on the InPaint tab and upload the image you want to transform. Easy so far, right? Next, paint over the clothes, leaving nothing out. Now the magic happens with prompts. I'll be transforming this image into something more formal and professional using positive and negative prompts. Here are the positive and negative prompts I'm using for this image. After that, let's adjust the configuration settings. I'm using the Clarity In Painting checkpoint with the Euler Ancestral Sampler. Let's set the sampling steps to 30 and CFG scale to 7. Set the In Paint area to only masked and masked content to original. Now set a very low denoising strength between 0.5 to 0.7. Finally, hit that Generate button. And voila, your clothes are transformed but there's a catch. Sometimes the pose might go haywire. As you can see from this output image, the pose doesn't match the original image at all. That's where ControlNet comes to the rescue. Let's not settle for good when we can have great. If you have the ControlNet extension for Automatic 11.11 installed, you'll find this new ControlNet toggle. Expand the toggle and enable ControlNet. Select the Open Pose checkbox and choose the Open Pose model in the Model drop-down. Also, enable the Low VRM and Pixel Perfect checkboxes. That's all you have to do. We don't need to change any other setting here. Click on the Generate button and this time, our image will be generated using ControlNet. Here's the output image compared to the one generated with just in-painting. As you can see, by using ControlNet, we were able to preserve the pose of the human. This is why using the ControlNet Open Pose model is extremely helpful whenever you want to change clothes in Stable Diffusion. You can also see the pose detected by the Open Pose model in the output. So now you know how to change clothes in Stable Diffusion using InPainting and ControlNet. But what can you do with this skill? Well, here are some cool prompt ideas for changing clothes in Stable Diffusion. The most common one is turning your boring images into professional headshots for LinkedIn or job interviews. Let's upload this image in the InPaint tab and repeat the same process as before. We paint over the clothes, select our checkpoint model, enable ControlNet and generate the image. And bam! Now you have professional looking headshots that you can use anywhere. Besides this, you can also turn yourself into a fashion icon. You can find some cool prompts on our website with some examples and inspiration. So there you have it. With Stable Diffusion, you can become whoever you want. Rockstar, chef, fashion model, the sky's the limit. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome tutorials. Until next time, stay creative.